What's going on, guys? This is uh, Matt Walton, and today I am going to be talking about how to leverage your business for Kingdom Impact. So at this point, if you've been following along, we have uh, talked about how to uh, convert your business to a Kingdom business, about having a biblical view of work, and, and several other things associated with that. If you have not seen those videos, I would encourage you to go back to the previous videos and check those out, then come back to this one. But thank you for watching. I'm very grateful for every single one of you. My, my prayer is that is that it sets some people free within the within the marketplace, and, and ultimately God gets all the glory for it. So, so as we talk about how to leverage your business for Kingdom Impact, I really these are videos that I want to get into a lot of depth with with part two, part three as well. So, so some things that God has put on my heart is is using this business as my ministry. Y'all have heard me heard me talk about that several times. But how do you use the business as your ministry? How do you leverage your business for kingdom impact? And uh, in one way uh, that the Lord has put on my heart to do that is by prayer. So there's different kind of different ways to to, to approach prayer. And uh, and I would I would approach it either either with yourself, with with uh, people closely associated with your business, and with people in your business or or corporate prayer. So how that looks for me at this time is, is I will spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with the Lord and, and just hearing from God. And, and I know every time that I do that, God gives me a direct download and any of the information that, uh, that I did not have before, God puts it on my heart. I have that information or put somebody on my heart to, to get that information. Uh, and then most importantly there, you have to act out of obedience because when God gives you something to do, if you do not act out of obedience, he's going to give that to somebody else. So David talks about in Psalms and several verses in Psalms, and I apologize, I don't have them in front of me, but, but he was very quick for to obedience. And so we need to, as kingdom entrepreneurs, as kingdom people in the marketplace, we need to be pursuing those opportunities to be obedient and then be quick to, to, to that obedience. The other way that we can use prayer is by doing corporate prayer. So what I do is I stop production for 30 minutes every single Wednesday. I do corporate prayer where I bring everybody in. Either we meet out in the shop or we come into my office and we just stand around and we talk about praise reports and prayer requests. And then we pray. And then sometimes there may be a Wednesday where we pray for, you know, healing or pray for deliverance over, over anxiety or we just pray, man. We give thanks to the Lord. We follow kind of the Lord's prayer, how Jesus laid out in, in, in the gospels. And, uh, and then we focus on things that we're grateful for and, and giving glory to God. And then we lift up certain things in prayer. And, and then out of that, I really encourage my guys to, when they're stuck on something or whenever they're contemplating something out in my yard or in the factory to Literally, just stop and pray for a second or pray as you're going on, because when we do that, when we submit ourselves to God, God's going to draw near and he's going to provide the things that we that we need. The next thing is, oh, and something that really cool that comes out of that is, is we have guys that will tell me like, man, this is the this is my favorite part of the week. Guys will ask me, hey, when are we doing prayer? If I'm if I'm a few minutes late to doing prayer or I had a guy yesterday ask me, hey, do you have a Bible that I can have? And, uh, and just how beautiful is that? And I, I that, that that's the whole reason why we do that is is to see to see lives transformed. The next thing is serve day. And uh, serve day is one thing that, I, that God, as I was praying about, how do I, how do you want me to give through your business, God? Do you want me to write a check every month? Do you want me to write a check every quarter? Do you want me to give time? How, what, what do you want for me to do? And, and over a season, it was literally a couple of months that I'm praying on this, uh, God had given me an idea to, to do serve days. And so what that means is I stop production one day a month and it's the first Friday of every month. So I, I view that as my first fruits. And uh, we stop production and we go serve those that never get served, uh, very rarely get served. So this week I'm going to serve, or next week, excuse me, I'm going to serve a, uh, a local church here. And, uh, and then I always offer them, hey, if they're pastors or if anybody in the church needs something at their house, let us know. If we have the ability to do it, then we will absolutely will do it from mowing yards. I mean, you name it. If there's widows in the church that need some help, let us know. And we, we will take care of that during our serve days. And the really cool part about that, and the whole vision of that is to teach men how to be servant leaders. Anytime that God talks about his leaders in scriptures, he always referred to them as servant. So we need to, as men and, and women uh, that are pursuing after Jesus, start pursuing that servant leadership. The next thing is discipleship. So this comes down to just discipling our people in the marketplace from you know, how we react to things, to, to how we share scripture uh, of how to overcome things, of how we handle behavioral changes or, or discipline. We need to be focused on, on, uh, on discipleship in the marketplace. This is vital in the marketplace for us to start seeing some lives transformed and salvations 
happen because of that discipleship in the marketplace. But the most important thing there is we got to act like it. If we don't act like it, then we're not going to have that impact that God's that, that, that we that we should be having and we could have if we were acting like it. Next thing is we just need to love on people, man. This is a really simple thing, but love on your people. I, I heard somebody say this one time and, uh, and, and I already knew that, but it meant a lot to me at that time to hear that. So I know there's somebody out there that, that needs to hear that, but love on your people, encourage them, find out what's going on in their lives and uh, man, give them a hug, you know, tell them you love them, you know, however that looks like for you, um, but love on your people. And because without your people, you would not be doing uh, uh, what you were doing. It takes an army and it takes a team to be able to accomplish these things. That, that's why the lone wolf mentality is not even close to being scriptural. The next thing is, is, and this goes to, I won't get in, I'll get into this in another video, but, but it's creating an ecosystem. Uh, part of what I do is give me a vision to create an ecosystem where I meet the needs of my clients inside the business. And then I meet the needs of people outside of my business. And, uh, and then, and then it just kind of creates this ecosystem. And, and I'll go again, I'll go into that more, more in depth down the road. I would sum this up in saying though, use your business or use your influence in the marketplace, use that leverage for kingdom impact. And, uh, and I know there's a bunch of different ways, which I'll get into in another video. Please share ideas if you have them and uh, let me know what you're doing in your business. And, uh, and I would love to hear from you. God bless you guys.